Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rotato. I just want to start off by saying thank you for all the support on the previous Rotato videos. Our uh, Brawler episode is already sitting on like 273 views, which is like one of the best videos on my channel. So I, I really appreciate all of the support and feedback on the uh, Brotato series. Uh, keep the uh, feedback coming uh, and I will definitely keep making Brotato videos if they continue to do well. Uh, today, we're going to jump into a run as the Engineer. We just unlocked Danger 5. Uh, I wanted to try out the engineer today just because we've done a lot of uh, normal weapon runs with the SMG and stuff. I want to try something different and do some engineering. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And we're just going to start with, I think, yeah, we'll just start with the wrench. Double wrench. Danger level 5. Let's go. Right, we're going to start with two turrets. So yeah, the, uh, the Brotato series has been doing very well on the channel. So I definitely want to keep up with the uploads. The Engineer is a very strong character, um, should be a pretty straightforward run here as long as we just keep our engineering high. Speaking of, plus two engineering straight away. Wrench. Lumberjack shirt works well. Uh, no. Possibly like a propeller hat. Let's go. Alright. So this is the first run we're doing on Danger Level 5. This is where the game... Takes a step up in difficulty, because uh, now we have to fight two final bosses instead of just one. Gets a little difficult. But I think we can manage. We've made it this far, right? Right. Trees down one hit. I should just try and get them. Sweet. What have we got then? Attack speed. I don't know if attack speed affects our turrets. Uh, we can have a look. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. I'll take it. Right, another turret. Let's not worry about that anymore. Roll. Turret. More damage, less range. Range doesn't feel too important. So most of our damage is going to be done through our turrets anyway. I guess we could always try and experiment and see if the uh, attack speed works on our turrets. Doki. The early waves never present too much of a difficulty. Got a couple charging enemies, but other than that, pretty easy. We're gonna end this wave with about 195 materials. That's not too bad. Another two engineering. Really say no to that. Flat damage or harvesting? I like getting some early harvesting. We'll take the bag. We'll take this. We'll take this. I'm rolling. Another wrench. Fantastic. Recycling machine. Fantastic. Roll again. And we're gonna pass here. So now we have five turrets already. It's off to a good start. Engineering is definitely one of the strongest uh, classes in Brotato. Quite hard to have a bad run when you're making engineering your focus. Turrets just do so much work. They keep the crowds like to a minimum. This means that you have to you have to worry a lot less about dealing damage yourself because all of your damage is done through your structures. Which means you can focus more on things like survivability. Dodging bullets, which I think is the big thing, right? Um, if you're not the one dealing the damage, you don't need to worry about getting in there and dealing damage. If that makes sense. <laughs> this probably doesn't make sense. You have to bear with me. I'm really tired today. It's been really hot here in the UK for the past couple of days. It's been a couple of long days at work too. And I work in like, I work in a sports center. So it's like really warm. <laughs> it's really warm. Mm. Let's go for engineering. Another wrench. Recycling machine. Metal. Oh, skip it. Another tur Oh, a flat turret. That's cool. We get a wrench. Looking good. Weird Ghost is pretty efficient cost-wise, but we have no HP regeneration. So I think we're just going to chill on that for now. It's a little scary. The good thing about the engineer is that the uh, all of your turrets... In fact, I think this is mainly with wrenches or any handheld weapon that summons turrets, is that they also win in like a cluster. So you could you sort of just have an area of dominion when you play as this character. Alrighty, alrighty. So I hope you've all been well. Uh, I'm feeling a little better. My mental state has been improving a little bit. My body is still going through some struggles, but I am actually going to see a doctor about it this week. So it should be a lot easier for me. And once I get that sorted, it's probably going to be... Uh, a lot easier for me to make videos. 
I guess we're going to find out if attack speed applies to turrets here. Ooh, bait. This is, I want all of this. Um, we'll start off the good wrench. I mean, take this. Merge. As we upgrade wrenches, the turrets actually do get better. I can actually take all of it. That's sweet. Another wrench. Okay, this run's going crazy. Just a good old-fashioned engineer run. You can't really go wrong. It's one of the creature comforts of Potato, I think. It's like a... You've had a bad couple of runs, you just want to get a win under your belt. You can't go wrong with the engineer, really. I think it's probably the most beginner-friendly character. It's the only downside, really, is the damage modifications being reduced. But plus 10 engineering and then engineering modifications being increased, you don't really need damage. Oh yeah, the engineer is what's making the turrets spawn close to each other. He has the passive ability of having structures spawn close to each other. Making it just very strong. Level 4, we get a little laser turret here. It has a bit more range, it has some penetration. It's a lot better than the base turret, which is just one shot, doesn't penetrate. Less range, less damage. Definitely want to get more of these. The incendiary turret's are cool. They apply burning damage. Oh my god, we got it! <laughs> Pocket factory. Plus two engineering. Killing a tree spawns a turret. We have the focus for the run. This is one of the best items for this character. We're, and we have the lumberjack shirt. Things are about to get absolutely insane. Uh, uh, the video got off to a slow start, but man, I think we're about to pick it up. I think we're about to pick it up. Let's take speed. Take this. Taking a landmine doesn't sound awful. I missed it. It's fine. I'm rolling again. We're hard focused on uh, on tree items now. Take this wrench. I'll take that turret. Okay. My A button isn't working. There we go. I was wondering what was going on. Take this Cyclops worm. I think I probably do not. Because the damage modifications are reduced. Right. The run's about to get absolutely crazy. The These turrets being spawned by the trees are going to be super strong because we're playing as a character with a ton of engineering. And it's just going to sort of chain react with itself just to give us a bunch of value by doing essentially nothing. Trees will spawn, the turrets will take out the trees. The trees will spawn turrets which will take out more trees. It's just very, very good stuff. It's like a snowball effect, right? We just need items that spawn turrets. There is a cap to how many turrets can be on the stage at any time. I'm actually not going to take out the eggs because I feel like we'll get more materials if we don't. Thank you, Jobs, for that little tip. By the way, check out Jobs' videos on Brotato. He does a very good job of uh, going into a deep dive of how to play the game optimally. As Jobs would, Jobs is a very, very talented gamer. Uh, let's take the attack speed. Alright, turret, wrench... Again, bait again. I'm gonna take another these. I'll take the bait. Takes us up to 10% damage. Which I think it does apply to our turrets, and obviously it's gonna help us with these enemies. Whoa, okay, chill, 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 we're chilling. Just don't die. Oh my god. Scary. We made it though, we made it. Engineer is just too strong that even playing awfully, we can do well. <laughs> what we would like to see is some kind of healing option, like a healing turret. Or maybe just some survivability stats. I don't think lifesteal applies to your structures. So we probably don't want to go for lifesteal. We probably just want to go for regen and defense. Maybe some max HP if it's offered. We're going all in with the, uh, the tree theme. If we can get some more tree items, that would be fantastic. Any trees over here? No. It's going very, very well so far. We're already at full harvesting. Could be bad. Six max HP, just what the doctor ordered. Adrenaline. It's pretty good. This actually does apply to some turrets later in the game, so I think I'm going to take this. I'll take the adrenaline and I'll roll. Another wrench. I'm actually going to merge to get a level uh, 4 wrench and then just do that. It is level 4, right? Yeah, level 4. Cool. I think now we get an explosive turret. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Let's try and get a full suite of explosive turrets. 
It's wave 9, so you know what? We're going to make an absolute ton of money. And we're going to take out every tree we see. It's our service to the world as a lumberjack engineer. Alright, wave's going pretty fine. We are absolutely stacked out of control, so no surprises there. I think Lumberjack Engineer is one of the best new archetypes that 1.0 facilitated. The new Pocket Factory item is just absolutely crazy. One of the most interesting items in the game. One of the strongest items in the game if you get the right things going for it. Sipid actually did like a really interesting video where he used his mod to uh, take nothing but pocket factories and trees and as you can expect it went very very bonkers. No, we don't need snake, we got no burning, don't need this. I'm gonna take this, the XP seems good. I'll take armor and I will take some... Okay, medical turret, that's great, just what we want. Another wrench. I don't know if piercing applies to the turrets, but we'll try. Uh, buddy. Bunny. Another wrench. Maybe should have taken that. And I want this. I can't afford it. Can I afford it if I recycle? I mean, it's not efficient to recycle. I'll take the landmines and I'm going to pass here. We're so strong. So, so, so strong. Med turret's gonna help a bunch. We have like just a little area we patrol. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out. We're vibing, we're vibing. The dodge is gonna help. If we do get hit, there's a chance we just don't take damage. You really shouldn't be squishy as the engineer because you are investing a lot of your stats into defense because your damage is just fine from the get go. But we are a little squishy, so the dodge is going to be appreciated, I think. We have neglected some of our defensive stats for a while. I should probably change that. I want to get to my healing turret. It heals me for a lot. How much was that? It's like four? That's not bad. The trees are spawning pretty close to us too. What I want to try is like engineer with like a tiny map. That'd be hilarious. All the enemies spawn and just immediately die. Let's take armor. And then let's take... Well, let's try and take engineering. Take more armor. Plus one engineering for every elemental damage we have. Pretty good. Let's get another explosive turret. Yeah, roll this. You can roll this. This is all bad. Coupon's good. Not back is fine. Let's go. Let's have the turrets keep the enemies away. Now we have explosive turrets to spare. Yeah. I like the explosive turret to uh, max upgrade. I think that's really cute. Try and get a full set of these by the end of the run. It's going pretty easily right now. Just remember, if you guys want to see more Brotato, don't forget to leave a like. Share the video for all of your Brotato loving friends really helps us out. We're just getting started here on YouTube. The Brotator videos are doing fantastically though, so I'm, I really want to keep up uploading at least one a week. We might start doing modded content soon, but I want to get through all of the characters before we do that. We've not been playing for as long as the other YouTubers, you know? We need to, we need to go through the whole journey of playing the base game first before we start jumping into crazy mods and stuff. Cyberball. No reason not to take it, really. Attack speed. More wrenches. Okay, so we're gonna combine here. Bye bye. Go. Med turrets. Great. Take another more enemies. That damage ring actually doesn't do very much. Roll again. Here's a question for you all in the comments. Does the life steal apply to the turrets? Because I actually have no idea. Clearly. What elite have we got? Whatever this guy is, he looks like Dracula. His ass. Let's stay, try and stay within his little circle here. Of course, we're not the thing, we're not the one dealing the damage here. We need to let our turrets do the work. Which makes elites and boss fights a little tricky because we can't really control where they go. 
cast more trees means more chaos, which means more damage. Please come closer, so I can beat you up. Okay, now he's gonna start running towards me. This might be bad. He's dead? He is dead. Sweet. I was a little worried there. I actually didn't know that guy... That guy starts patrolling, but then he actually starts chasing you at phase two. So you need to be a little careful. Lesson learned. We'll know for next time now. Definitely caught me off guard, though. I panicked a little bit. I panicked a little bit. We'll recycle this. Oh, wait. Our elemental damages are... Uh... I'll take ricochet. I'm interested to see if that works. We have to remember our elemental damage is actually engineering now. So this is great. Three here. Take this. I'll take another wrench. I'm actually going to combine these to get another explosive turret. Engineering. Uh, sacred sausage seems funny. Let's take it. Ooh, laser turret for free. Sweet. Mm. It's actually really good for right now. Let's roll though. I'll take a sacred sausage. We'll go. So now our turret should be burning enemies. I'm not sure if that's how that works. It, it looks like the piercing works though. So maybe our items do apply to our turrets. It looks like they do. That's interesting. Good to know. That opens the floodgates for some interesting runs. I don't think it's going to be every item in the game that applies to turrets, but it looks like a majority of them do. I don't think does the bounce apply. Yeah, the bounce does apply. I just saw a bullet bounce off of an enemy, so that's cool. Projectile bouncing applies. We need to go around and gather some of these materials. Our actual base damage that we deal is not very high. That's why we need to rely on the turrets a little bit here. Alright, we're chilling, we're chilling. I just want to stay inside my little safe circle. There's two health turrets here, so it's kind of hard to be out damaged, especially when we've got so much armor. Uh, elemental damage is engineering. Take this, take more engineering. Take the laser turret roll. Ooh. We'll take this. We're going to combine and buy and lock. We'll have another exploding turret next round. All right, we're feeling very good. We're not quite on the Horde Wave yet, but we're getting there. The Horde Wave is going to rake us in so much money. I think the range applies to our turrets too, so we should probably try and increase our range a little bit. Where's our second health turret? It's there behind the uh, rocket launcher turret. I wonder as well, if a exploding projectile bounces, does the bounced projectile also explode? Maybe. I don't think bouncing uh, exploding projectiles actually do bounce. And if they do, I guess that's good. <laughs> I'm not too sure though. It's like a pretty big damage downgrade for taking bouncing projectiles, but I think it's really funny. And that's what matters more to me. I don't want to be overpowered. I want to be having fun. That's what separates me from my competition. I like doing crazy things. We're just looking absolutely fantastic. I don't want to spawn too many turrets from the pocket factory because they might actually despawn my strong turrets. Alloy. Seems good. We'll take it. Garden isn't engineering, but it's kind of on theme. So I think because it's a structure, we're going to take it. Roll for free. Another one of these. That's great. Wandering bot counts as a structure. I'm not going to lock it though, we're just going to chill. We are on the horde wave now, so we're going to get a lot of enemies. And let's just see how crazy we can go. I'm going to let the eggs hatch, if I can. So that is going to equal more money. And we can definitely handle the extra aggression. Alright, alright, alright. Nothing, nothing gets into our circle and gets out of it. The turrets just have everything handled. I do wish we'd found more, like, trees, though. Um, 
haven't found any of the tier 1 tree item yet, so... It's kind of... Kind of a downer there, but... We're still very strong. I just wish we had more trees and luck. Try and collect as many materials as possible. No, you don't die. That was close. Engineering, take... We'll take some dodge. So we're on 12%, not bad. Take this. Elemental damage minus speed, sure. Take the monkey. Elemental damage, sure. Roll. Wrench, sure. Roll. Ooh, yeah. Take this, take this. These are all very good. We just got very lucky with the items we got. Uh, pocket factory was absolutely insane. Especially when we already had the lumberjack shirt. Really, really cool. It was meant to be. This run was just meant to be. So if you're you're still watching, uh, why not leave a comment below and suggest what character or character strategy I play next? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the series. What things you want to see, what things I should do. What can I do to separate myself from the other people playing Rotato? any challenges I should try, any mods I should enable. Just anything to keep my videos interesting and unique. That's what I need to know. That's why right now my general strategy is to just play the game well or as well as I can. I try to give the best commentary I can or sometimes I am a little bit tired. But like, what else could I do? Take this, take this, take this. Roll. Oh, that's good. Is oh I can't, literally can't take that. Okay, I'm gonna take the alien top. All right, another elite. You know the you know the strat. The turrets are just gonna get in there and do the work for us. So this is a little awkward. I don't like this pattern we're dealing with here. Maybe staying close to the enemy is the thing to do here. Seems like he forwards quite a lot of his projectiles. Ish. This guy. I think this guy's one of my favourite elites design wise though. He's so cool. His attack patterns are so interesting. Right. We're chilling. I'm not too worried here. Any damage we do take is immediately patched up by a health turrets and garden. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. Look out for those chargers, they'll they'll get ya. They'll get ya. Especially when your base damage is so low. Alright, three crates. Let's see what we get. Mammoth! No. Acid. No. Little frog. No. Elemental damage. Garden. Roll. Roll. <laughs> that was disappointing. This is good. Another exploding turret. Roll. Armor for speed. Seems good. Take this. I'm actually just fine. I'm feeling good. We've got so many exploding turrets now. Also, we're going to start having some problem with these uh, buffing enemies. They're going to start pushing the enemies into our formation quite aggressively. I think we got this done. We took some extra armor and some extra HP, so we should be a little better. The melee damage with the mammoth could have been interesting, but I think the downsides were just too severe. Not worth it when we've already got such a strong thing going with our turret. Let's try and collect as much material as possible. Of course, not getting too dangerous. The actual economy situation of this run isn't great. I feel like we've gotten so lucky with the shops anyway that it doesn't really matter. Lifesteal. I guess it's time to see if the lifesteal actually applies to the turrets. I highly doubt it. I think it's worth a shot. Maybe I should have considered the candle. It's fine. I'm going to buy this to buy this and then we have all reds. Okay. Nothing can stop us now. We have the full suite of exploding turrets. You know what would be fantastic, Civid's Relic? Just so I don't have to go and collect all of this money. 
think Sifid's Relic is one of the best in slot uh, items for the Engineer. Because the Engineer really hates leaving his little uh, circle. Sifid's Relic makes it so we never have to go out there and collect things. We can just stay inside our little structure sphere. Alright. It's going okay. We need to be careful of these ground attacks I keep eating up. But other than that, we're doing okay. We're looking good. These healing turrets have us covered. We have four of them now. It's kind of amazing. Whoa, I stepped a little too far out of the circle. Uh, got punished for it. These charging enemies are causing me some problems. We're fine. We're sort of. Got a box. The box contained elemental damage. Fantastic. Never too late for luck, I don't I think. Actually, that's wrong. <laughs> it's. Quite often too late for luck uh, at about this point in the run. Explosion size, I will take, thank you. I'll take the elemental damage. Don't need weapons anymore. Baby with a beard. It's kind of cute. I'm not going to take it though. Garden. Kind of interesting, this roll. Mm, I'll take this, and then we'll just vibe. Final wave anyway, it doesn't really matter. All right. Let's try our best here. Wave 22 bosses. Let's just stay in our circle. Don't need to get too zesty. Healing turrets have us covered here. No. Really don't like this though. This is scary. Once he starts doing his circle attack, I think we're okay. Because we are literally just going to stay in our little circle here and not leave. Just try not to get run into. Oh no. Please have mercy. Oh no. Stop. I'm scared. There's one box. Taking it. And we're done. Okay. The boss was a little spicy, but we made it. Danger level 5 engineer. I'm sorry if I was a little quiet in this episode. I'm still trying to get rested up after quite a stressful week. Uh, I really appreciate you all coming and watching though, this was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to recording more Brotato episodes for you all. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later.